Today, let me talk to you about a very fascinating concept in finance called leverage. Leverages denote a disproportionate impact on the bottom line due to a certain change in top line. And leverages are caused by the presence of fixed costs in your costing structure. If all your costs are variable by nature, there will be no disproportionate impact because if your sales goes up by a certain percentage, since all your costs are variable, the costs will go up at the same percentage and profit will also go up at the same percentage. All three lines will be linear. But when you have a fixed cost in your costing structure, what is the nature of fixed cost? Cost remain fixed, at least for a certain period. Now, when sales goes up, costs being fixed, costs do not go up. Therefore, the profits go up at a faster pace. Profits go up at a faster pace. Losses come down at an equally fast pace if sales start dropping. So leverage provides a magnifier impact. Now, since fixed costs cause leverages, but there are two types of fixed costs, broadly speaking, those fixed costs which are necessary to run operations called operating fixed costs and those it doesn't matter to operations whether you incur them or not and those are merely the financial fixed costs or the interest interest is in your control because to borrow or not to borrow is a choice nobody puts a gun and said you got to borrow whereas operating fixed costs are by and large beyond your control because the nature of activity determines what kind of operating fixed costs you will have. Now, once you know your fixed costs, you can work out the leverage multiple applicable to the company. The leverage multiple will help you predict profits just by looking at the top line. If your operating leverage multiple caused by the presence of operating fixed costs is, let us say, three, and your financial leverage multiple cause due to interest in your costing structure is let's say four. That means this company will have a combined leverage multiple of 12, three multiplied by four. What does a 12 leverage multiple mean? It means if sales goes up by 100%, profit will go up by 1200%. If sales goes up by 10%, profit will go up by 120%. Nobody will complain. But folks, if sales drops by 10%, profit will drop by 120%, it can kill you. And therefore, you got to take a very, very balanced approach. You must take advantage of leverages, but make sure these don't become so unwieldy that the company might have to shut down at a slight sign of recession. Now, operating fixed costs, since these are not in your control, the operating leverage multiple is a given. And therefore, prudent organizations will take that as a sign and make sure the financial leverage multiple reacts to this. In other words, those organizations that have high operating leverages must try and keep their financial leverages low, which means that borrowing should not be very high which means expansions as far as possible should be funded by equity rather than debt. But those that have a low operating leverage can afford to have a high financial leverage. So those organizations can afford to take debt in order to finance their growth and expansions because already operating leverage is a low and with a high financial leverage, you will enjoy the benefit of leverage. That means your profit will go up in a magnified form, but nevertheless, you will not become a very risky proposition. This is today's food for thought for entrepreneurs and business persons.